Dear Ginny, so this vlog is a bit of an overview of my last couple of weeks that I've been hanging out here in Sydney, Australia, and I've been doing some fun stuff. I went to a ball for my university, which was pretty much like prom for college kids, and it was really fun. And I went to see Liam Payne perform, which was a 1D throwback, and I went to the beach a ton. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll talk to you soon. Today is the formal for my university's organizations has like a ball today, which I am going to, which is why I'm all dressed. And this dress is from a company called Likely. My earrings are from my dad. So this makeup is just like a burnt orange eye look with mascara, normal face makeup. It's pretty low key, pretty chill, and I did it myself. My hair, I also did myself, just like a low pony. It's a low key day. I'm excited to go because you get to get all dressed up and it feels kind of like prom. You get to look cute and have fun with your friends. But the great thing is that you don't have to go with a date. So there's none of that awkward stress and I'm living for it. And yeah, it's kind of raining outside right now, right outside my window. I'm hoping it stops because I don't want to get completely drenched. Hey, look, it's a vlog. <laughs> Have you missed the vlog, guys? <laughs> it's been a while. I could give you a tour of the place. <laughs> I mean, sure. So this is, this is the place? <laughs> this is the living room? I, I like the bathroom, it looks bougie. It is bougie. I, I was a fan of the interior. Everything. I saw it. I was a fan. <laughs> Matching. Matching. And I got gold. And I got gold. And I got gold as well. Oh my god, shut up. Oh, I'm going to the Uber. Hi. I'm wearing a raincoat because it's raining and cold today in Australia. My queen. You look so glowing. Thank you, so do you. We're a flame in the wind, not the fire that we begun. Every argument, every word we can't take back. Cause with all that has happened, I think that we both know the way that the story Oh! You look like a princess girl. You look so good. This cute ass bathroom. So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I just ordered a lemonade and they brought me a Sprite. And apparently, lemonade is Sprite here. Yeah. Like, Dying. It's fine. It's fine. It's, fine. it's, it's only fine. midnight. And where are we now? We're at the, <laughs> at the Ivy <laughs> at bar. Ivy. And cool. Ivy chunk. But my feet hurt and I'm gonna die. <laughs> and Riverdale's out, season three, episode one. <laughs> Just saying. We stand. <laughs>
Eating me up inside, but we run our course. We pretended we're okay. Now, if we jump together, at least we can swim far away from the wreck we made. Then, only for a minute, I want to change my mind. Cause this just don't feel right to me. I want to raise your spirit. I'm on Manly Beach right now, which is one of my favorite places in Sydney. It's beautiful right now. It's almost sunset. I think it's about an hour till sunset. So it's like golden hour right now, which is my favorite time to be at the beach because that means a lot of people have already left. So it's pretty empty. I just had a late lunch at a place called Jellyfish Cafe and it was so good. Now I'm at the beach, which this is, I'm pretty sure, this is my fourth time at the beach this week. Now that it's finally spring here in Australia, I've been trying to like embrace that and embrace the warmer weather. One of the major reasons why I wanted to study abroad here is because it's proximity to the ocean and I just love nature and I feel like that I thought that would be like the best place for me to be abroad because for me like the ocean is like home. I don't know. So I, I felt like it would connect me to home which it totally does. I'm just really embracing like going on beach walks and just like being by the ocean. And when I say go to the beach I don't mean like a full-on beach day. I mean like just go for a walk at dusk or something like that. And it's just like so good for your soul just to like be by the ocean, at least for me. And so now I'm gonna go catch the ferry back to Circular Quay and then the train home, which is gonna be so great because I'll be on the ferry right on sunset. So I'm really excited. I highly suggest, um, you know, really embracing the parts of study abroad that you love while you're still there. And sometimes I'll be sitting in my room just like tired and I'll be like, you know what, no, I'm gonna go for a beach walk. It provides some exercise, some movement, connection with nature, and it's just like so nice. So if you're ever like studying abroad and you feel bored or something, just go do something because you're only in that country for like about four months probably. So just go out and do it. So yeah, I'm gonna go catch the ferry now. Even though I might not like it, I think that you'll be happy. 